Okay, I've drawn a scene on here. It's a little difficult for you to see there. Um, once I paint in one object, uh, you'll pretty well see the f photo or the painting. But it's a um, water irrigation. Uh, and it's kind of an odd subject matter, but um, it's for a series of paintings that I'm doing. And so I'm going to go ahead, the darkest object, um, and, and I kind of look at this ahead of time, putting in the darkest, and, and um, made sure that my lightest, you know, this is uh, juxtaposed against the uh, lightest areas in the painting. So you can see this is the water for the irrigation. Whoops, got some paint on there. And really the shadow is a part of this. But I want to try and connect things here so that it, uh, it brings brings it together. Yeah, of course not everything is getting connected there. Anyway, the soil in um, the desert, you know, with the sun on it, is really a bleached color. And, you know, these other bushes are really very close to this, so I think I will go ahead and put them in, mass all this. Maybe just a little bit on the other side. Yeah, I think that makes it a little more interesting. And then I do have my... Oops. Field back here. It's a green field. It's uh, dark in value. And over here also. So a little bit there. I think I will bring it here in some places so where the light of the water comes down that there's some dark, a little bit of dark to help define that. Hopefully 
pieces down there. Okay, now I'm going to go to my medium. I've just got three values here, a white, a dark, um, a dark gray, medium gray, and a white. And I would say that my photo here is actually very close to, uh, I mean, my um, sky and the road are very close to the same values. Some shadow here coming out of the water. And here at the top of these. A little bit of dark in here. That I missed the first time. On the edge of the road here, kind of helping define that road. It's helping to define the road there. Okay, now. Try to get all my medium values in here. <clears throat> now it's hard to, like the mountains back here are really light in color and, and you know, if I had another value, I'd probably put them in, but they're so faint that they really blend in with the sky. And, and so, you know, as far as the value painting, um, this is kind of crooked. It really is flat land. As far as the value painting, I would consider that to be a part of the sky. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go in here with my white, oops, dirty brush. And clean up some of this. The shape of this isn't quite right. And I want to make sure that my water um, spigot, whatever you call it, is actually above the horizon line there. I don't want it to end right at the horizon. This painting, this photo is actually much better um, as a completed painting than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be changing a little bit more. Water 
here. And this road. So this road is kind of around the water so you can see what it is. And then the sun really bleaching out the road and all the dirt around that. But what I want, you know, I'm taking some of these objects and making them um, blending them together so that there's large groups, masses of shapes instead of a whole bunch of little dots all over. You really want to connect things. this up a bit. Okay, the one thing that will give this a little bit of clue of what this is, is by putting in all the telephone or electrical lines here. Now this does have one pole on the side that I like. It's it's and there's more of them here in the distance. Oops. Anyway, there's some here. One of them I I think is kind of a good stop. Keeps the viewer from Continuing off the page here, or off the picture plane. And there's also a light road back in here. There's this one road that goes along the canal, and then there's another road there. Okay, clean up this road a bit. And then, you know, I can go back and uh, take a little bit of this paint, paint and kind of design some of this a little nicer. Do a little blending. Actually, a little light here. There. 
But anyway, I, I often will take some of the um, paint and start blending a little bit more um, colors in there, but you, I mean more values, but you don't want to get too carried away and get too many things going. Now, let's see, I think I will go back here with the mountains. Gives you a little more indication what it is. Take a little bit of white. There's a little bit of sunlight on top of this, too. Okay, I'm going to stop at that, but if that gives you a real good sense of the design um, where I want to have this dark against the light, and I'll probably define this a little more, put a little more. That, that will be my darkest and lightest point, really. Um, and the light of the water right in that area is where my focal point will be but I felt this road kind of leads into it and these plants I want to connect them I don't want to have little dots of plants all over and this will be mostly dark darker over here so that I don't um, your eye doesn't go over here I want to keep it in this plane and I might darken this area a little bit so that it keeps you in this area. I still need to put a little bit of light right there. And then I kind of lost my dark. Okay, 
So that's it. You know, and all these telephones up back there too will kind of keep an interest in there. Um, you know, if there's something going on. So, anyway, that's the landscape painting.